Okay, welcome everyone. Um, I'm finally uh, at the long-awaited Bergsig session. Uh, yeah, uh, very nice venue. Uh, got here just before six. Lines were finally in, or the last one was in at about eight. So yeah, I've got one closer to the opposite margin, not too far from it, but I would say about five, six meters from the opposite margin, one in the middle, and then one in the margin on my side as well. So yeah, um, just had a run on the one, well actually not a run, it was a line swim. I was very eager, <laughs> hoping it was a run, but yeah, it wasn't. So yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. I've um, got, what, 36 hours to fish. Um, so far the guys in swim, what's it, I think swim five, or yeah, swim five. They've already caught uh, yesterday as well, the guys in uh, swim, uh, two or as well. They got a nice 16 kg carp already uh, last night and a nice linear mirror. So yeah um, Yeah, just gonna have to wait wait it out and see what happens um, Fish are showing lots of fish jumping as well um, So yeah, let's see how it goes and I'll definitely Keep you guys up to date show you a bit more about the venue and the setup and so on but yeah um, It's really nice being here um, long-awaited um, part of my journey where I had to you know get the confidence to fish here so I believe I'm there now I've got the confidence I believe in my rigs and my setup and everything so yeah now we just need to land one or two or three or four <laughs> but let's see how it goes okay uh, let's carry on with the session the bait that I prepared for the session so this is the boilies um, with some it's crushed boilies uh, crumbed boilies um, with that uh, liquid enhancer the fish extract and yeah and then I also put in some bread crumbs uh, that I bought from the local shop yeah just to soak up all those liquids and so on and yeah you can see it actually almost looks alive the way it's moving so yeah, all the rods have this out in the PVA mesh, even the one out on the fake maze, um, but then obviously some sweet corn thrown over it. So yeah, let's hope it does the job. So it's now 11.30 and the guys to the left of us just had their first run. Uh, they've been here since Tuesday, so yesterday. They had two yesterday and then another one now. So at least we know the fish are biting, so hopefully it's a good sign. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. We still need the run or a beep or anything. Okay, but let's see how it goes. Okay, so just a quick update um, weather-wise. So when we got here this morning, uh, it was a nice sunny day, clear skies, everything. Then the wind picked up all of a sudden and then yeah, the clouds came rumbling in very quickly. Wind came in as well. Temperature dropped very quickly. We're already here on the, on the fire next to us here. Um, yeah, so it's very cold. Um, but yeah, we just had a little bit of rain for about 10-15 minutes. A light drizzle, nothing serious. Um, yeah, and now the sun was shining for two, three minutes, and yeah, now it's cloudy again. So we literally have four seasons in one day so far. So yeah, but uh, twelve thirty now, nothing really to write at home about or anything just yet. But yeah, still early days. We still what only been four ses four hours into the session. So yeah, 
Let's see what happens. It's now half past two. Um, I just rebaited and recasted my rods. Um, I know I'm here for a longer two day session almost, and yeah, I can leave them a bit longer. But yeah, that change over from just fishing or being used to fishing just a day session where this would usually be the time where I would recast or rebait my, my lines uh, for that last bit of the day. So going of keeping with the tactic and uh, the tactic I know so yeah and the plan is then to rebate recast again just before sunset so yeah let's see how it goes so far it's still very quiet um, nothing really going on but yeah still hoping for the best there's still lots of time left okay let's carry on Okay, so I'm just having a walk around the lake a bit. Uh, I'm tired of sitting the whole time. So yeah, it's 4, 4 p.m. now. Um, still nothing, not a lot of activity anywhere. Here and there, a few fish showing, but yeah, very quiet today. Other, it's only that 113 kg that came out this morning. Um, yeah, but so far the guys that's been catching here since yesterday said they had most of their bites, well, all of their bites except the one. Uh, was at night time so yeah hopefully we're lucky um, the guy next to us in swim what's it swim two he caught a, a, a 16 kg um, last night uh, in front of my swim so hopefully I get lucky but yeah let's see what happens I just need to have a walk around now like I said tired of sitting so yeah gonna recast just before it gets dark rebate recast and let's see how it goes. Okay, um, I think we're in for a fun evening. Uh, it's getting dark now soon. Um, yeah, clouds moving in, thick, dark grey clouds, it's already started raining again a little bit. And yeah, thunder as well, uh, winds picking up. So yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting evening. Uh, the whole day so far it's been dead quiet, there's nothing. Um, the activity's also quieted down completely. So yeah, we'll just have to see what happens during the night. Um, yeah, hoping for the best, still hoping to catch something. So I'm just trying to get somewhere where I can have enough light so that you guys can see me. Okay, that's better. Okay, so yeah, um, it's gonna be a difficult evening, I think. Um, like I said, thunder, lightning is already starting to rain now, the wind's picking up. So yeah, we're quickly sorting out everything for the evening, just recasted my rod to rebate for the evening. So yeah, um, let's see what happens. Yeah, hopefully we get something through the night. Okay, awesome. Okay, so woke up this morning, quickly came down to my rods just after 4, 4 a.m. Um, right hand rod had a backdrop on it, alarm didn't go off during the night. And yeah, as I was reeling in, this nice chunky common waited for me on the other side. Okay, but more on that later. Let's get everything else rigged up, cast it out again, and then we can weigh this one in first sunlight. 
awesome. Okay, so um, as I just explained to you guys the whole story, how I, this one came into the net. Um, so yeah, this is my new PB now. It's just over 14 kgs. So yeah, unfortunate I have to get a bucket now. Um, but this one then was landed on the spicy F&R from MCT Baits. Um, Glugged all together with some pallets, crown boilies, and then also um, the liquid enhancer, the fish extract one. So unfortunately for me, in this weather, it might look hot, but it's not, believe me, it's freaking cold. Uh, because it's my PB, I need to get a bucket. So Zane's gonna do the honors. Okay, here we go. Zane Mokho. Yes, I can't wait to tell us it's it. Okay, Mokho. <laughs> oh shit, moet jy dit oor my rug gooi? <laughs> okay, awesome. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm dry again. Um, that was an awful yet amazing experience, um, holding up that 14 kg carp. Uh, we just reweighed it again just to make sure it came in in 14.4 kgs. So yeah, I broke the 30 pounder barrier as well today. So I'm very chuffed with myself, very happy with the fact that it's my first session at Bergsich and I was able to land a nice big carp. Um, so yeah, so it's still very early. We still have the whole day of fishing ahead of us. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Weather is much better than what it is yesterday. Nice sun shining, uh, calm, the, the lake is like a mirror. There's hardly, there's not even a slight breeze blowing or anything. So yeah, complete opposite to what we had yesterday. Um, okay, but let's see how today goes then. Hopefully I can get a second one and hopefully Zane can get his first one. Um, but yeah, awesome. Let's carry on. Okay, so it's now 12.30 in the second and last day of the session. Um, lots of activity again, fish jumping and showing and so on, but yeah, um, nothing else to show from anyone that's here. So we've got about four hours left before the session is done. So yeah, hopefully we can get something. Luckily the weather is completely different than yesterday. It's a lot warmer. Uh, wind actually just started picking up. It was dead quiet the whole of the morning up until now. So yeah, let's see what happens in the last four hours. So I want to quickly show you guys the rig and setup that caught me that uh, 14 kg carp. So there you can see a uh, German rig uh, with a single boily, wide cape size 2 hook on a small PVA mesh with that bait that I prepared. And then this I just plug in the liquid enhancer, the fish extract. So yeah, this is going to be my last cast for the session, quickly rebaiting, getting the rods out and yeah, let's hope I can catch something in these last few hours.
So last hour of the session, um, yeah, it's make or break now. But yeah, so far it's not looking <laughs> very optimistic. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens in the last hour. Maybe we get lucky and we get a, a last car before we have to hit the road. Okay, so that's it for my first session at Bergsig. So nothing came out on the second day. Um, no one that was here today caught anything. So yeah, um, but like I we know that's fishing. One day you catch, next day you don't catch. Um, I just feel unfortunate for Zane, my pig mate, for the two days. Um, he unfortunately didn't, didn't catch anything. It was his first time as well. So yeah, but I'm very chuffed with myself. <laughs> I'm very happy with that 14. 14.4 kg PB. So yeah, I'm very happy. It was a chunk of a cop. Um, yeah, it felt amazing holding it up and thinking that I caught this. So yeah, I'm over the moon with it. Um, words can't even dis describe how I would feel. But yeah, I, I assume any one of you that fish on a regular basis and you, when you break your PB, you know the feeling. It's just awesome. Um, so yeah, but that's the end of this year's, or well, not this year's, we've already planning a next session we'll just see when and where but yeah um, but thank guys i want to really really to everyone that gave me advice on the venue i really appreciate it everyone that wished me good luck uh, everyone who congratulated me um i really appreciate it it just shows you that the the carp community is an awesome community and other anglers support each other um especially when someone is growing in their journey and yeah i think this is like i said previously um this was my next step in my journey and yeah it's just it's so far it's been an awesome adventure and i really enjoy fishing and carp fishing and I've, i'll keep on doing it for a very long time so again from my side thank you very much for your support as well i really appreciate it thanks for watching sorry there was no second cop and sorry there was no run caught on camera um but that one came in the middle well early mornings uh early morning when um that one came in but unfortunately i couldn't get the run on camera but yeah um thank you very much appreciate it cheers till next time